Hi everyone, I am Anmol and welcome to day 6 of my tech learning journey. Today I will quickly explain 4 important SQL clauses. So first we are going to see what select statement is. Select statement is used to fetch data from a table or you can say it is used to display data as output. But we can also filter, order or group our data using select statement. So what a clause is? It is like an instruction which gives the database a specific command. Like what data to pick, where to pick it from, how to filter it or how to sort it. So I'm going to open my SQL workbench. Here I am using student db database. After this I am creating student tables which contains these columns. Now I'm inserting total eight rows. After this, we are going to use select statement. The star represents that we are displaying all the rows along with all the columns. So if I execute this, you can see all row, all eight rows with along with all columns are displayed. If I want to display only one particular column, I will write its name here. So if I execute this, you can say only each column is displayed. After this, we are going to see what where clause is. So where clause is used to filter out data from a table. I wrote select statement after that where age is greater than 19. So students whose age is greater than 19 will be displayed as you can see. Now, order by clause is used to sort data in my table. Select statement is written after that order by grade. I am sorting according to the grades of students. So the student with lowest grade is at first. After that, the student with highest grade is at last. If I want highest at top and lowest at bottom, then I am going to write D-E-L-S-C. This means descending order. So you can see that highest one is at top and lowest one is at bottom. After this, group by clause. So I'm displaying department column and I'm counting using count function star represent that I'm counting all the rows and I'm displaying this as total students as here represent that we are creating an alias or a temporary column for displaying our data and we are grouping departments together for example computer science department will be grouped together and count function will count how many rows are there so if I execute this you can see computer science have three rows mathematics have two three rows and physics have two rows now having clause we wrote same query as group by clause which is counting students in each department and having clause will display the departments with more than two rows. If I execute this, then you can see departments with more than two students are displayed. 